Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing the top 10 catchers heading into 2019. I will be doing every position starting with catcher. Alright, let's get into it. At number 10, we have Robinson Chirinos, the newest member of the Houston Astros who had a disappointing 2018 season following a great 2017 campaign. He is a mediocre defender, but makes up for it with great numbers behind the plate. Throughout his career, he's had a consistent OPS above 750, which for catchers is way above average. He seems poised for a great season with the Astros. At number 9, we have Francisco Cervelli, who had an amazing 2018 season by getting his OPS over 800. Though to be fair, 2018 seemed to be his only good season up to this point, but maybe it was the break he needed. To me, he's kind of up in the air if he continues to play well or not. Coming in at number 8, we have the 5 time Gold Glove winner, Salvador Perez, who proves over and over again that he is the best defensive catcher in the AL. He hits for a lot of power which boosts his stats to make them look reasonable, but an OBP under 300 with an OPS barely scraping over 700 puts him lower on this list. At number 7 we have Yadier Molina, the best defensive catcher in the NL, which is proven by winning his 9th Gold Glove last year. His OPS has been consistent around 750, but nothing magical at the plate. But the top tier defense puts him on this list. Coming in at number 6, we have Wilson Contreras. He struggled a bit behind the plate this year, but has the potential to be a plus 800 OPS hitter for the Cubs. His great defense also helps him exponentially, as his arm can throw out basically anyone in this league. Now at number 5 is Wilson Ramos who undoubtedly was the best offensive catcher last season, and probably the second best offensive catcher overall, but his horrendous defense keeps him in the middle of this list. Negative defensive run save the catcher hurts him big time. At number 4 we have Buster Posey, who has been the best offensive catcher in the game for a while now, but injury concerns about his hip have slid him down this list, and even with these concerns he still puts up decent numbers. It will be interesting to see how he fares in 2019. At number 3 is Gary Sanchez. Gary had a horrendous season last year, like one of the worst I have ever seen. But he's probably the most talented player on this list, and will most definitely bounce back in 2019. He's a machine, and if playing well, we first if he had a good 2018. At number 2 is Yasmani Grandal. Grandal was great behind the plate last year, putting up high weighted runs created and weighted runs created plus numbers. He is an excellent defender, overall a very solid catcher that any team would love to have, and as a free agent that will make that team he finally ends up with very happy. That number one, no surprises here, is JT Rumuto. Rumuto obviously had the best season for catchers last year, leading in war, adding an 825 OPS, and great power. He's an average to good defender, but the offensive numbers have been consistent and they have been great. Who knows where he will end to start 2019? But what we do know is he will be a great player. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and visit my website. Let me know your list for catchers in 2019. Did I get anything wrong? Did I leave anyone out? Alright, see you in the next one.